Layout Update 4. Welcome to Midsummer Railway in Scale. And I'm your host, Greg. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. And as you can see, I'm doing some static grass. The first course. I want to thank all the new subscribers. Thank you so much. I've got a few more. And from my old subscribers and people who've been supporting me for a while. Yes, it's been a while since the last update. Um, we've had sickness again. And this time, um, not me, well, a little bit of me, but my wife and my grandson. So that sort of slowed everything down. Anyway, we're back again, finally. So on this new section of uh, layout, you can see that uh, I am... Uh, putting some static grass down now. I don't want to bore you because everybody does static grass. This is only the first layer. I think I'm not finished yet, but I think I'm up to about the, um, oh, I don't know, 12th, 10th layer. Um, just one bit of the time. The worst thing and the thing that has slowed me down hugely is um, although it's spring, um, it has taken days and days and days, like about four or five days, for the glue to dry between coats, which is quite unusual. So that really has slowed me down a lot um, because, you know, it means I can't go any further, can't run trains, can't do anything. Anyway, we finally got that locked in and um, so I'm using the first, first layer, very thin, probably... Um, between it's a mixture of different colors and it'll be um, two to four mil. There's probably even um, some just really micro um, bits in there as well. Uh, yeah, you can see me sprinkling little bits on the top. Um, it's mainly spring and summer with a mixture of light, medium and dark green. And as I said, um, you can see with my, now I'm using my very powerful homemade um, uh, static gun. Uh, the other one I use just to, to, because it's very broad, whereas this is quite narrow. And this one's more powerful. You, you, um, I built this myself and um, it actually uh, has a, a quite a, a strong transformer in it and you can uh, make static grass stands at about six inches. So it, it is actually good for making the grass stand up. However, because of it taking so long, yeah, I don't know that I've achieved much using this at the moment. I might have to do a final coat. I want to thank all you for subscribing, and, and if you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, it's free, and make sure when you hit the subscribe button, you hit the little bell so that you get all the updates. I am endeavouring to try and do uh, regular updates, but with everybody being sick, um, my wife in hospital, my grandson in hospital, it's been a tough time. And then I was sick. So anyway, now as you can see, I've uh, actually added a lot more. Um, we're looking at about six to seven different layers at the moment. The other thing I've been working on is this house. Um, I'm not going to go through step by step putting it through. Um, I'm not the best builder. There are a lot better builders than me. But it's sort of a manor house. And um, it's a fella kit. And um, it's quite a, a, a nice little kit. And as you can see, you'll see different stages of me putting it together. Um, it's been done over the last three weeks, um, bit by bit as I can have time to put it together. So here we go, we've um, almost finished it and uh, I've actually put some lighting in so I have lots of different lights inside it, um, including a, a, a TV. And uh, I'm just setting it up here to, to um, make sure it works and uh, as you can see the lights installed. I'm actually using um, neon, neon um, pixels and here we go. So we have lights that switch on and off. And uh, in the right hand side, you'll see the white light. That's actually the TV running. And that changes to all sorts of different colors, actually 
I built this a long time ago and uh, um, haven't used it. So um, that's there. And as you can see, I've actually mounted it up a little bit because most manor houses are up higher. And uh, I've put a bit more um, grass and, and uh, bush around the, the, the um, house and, and the layout, as you can see. And you can see a bit more there, a few more trees. Um, just to make it a bit more interesting and most manor houses are sort of you know quite uh, quite luxurious in its um, in its uh, greenery so here's the manor house now with some um, fencing around it and uh, make it look a bit more like a manor house of course to drive the neon pixels and the, to simulate the um, switching of the lights and the uh, TV we have our Arduino. You may also notice on the second floor up in the, in the uh, rounded window, there's, there are people. Yes, there are people inside the house as well. I always put people and lights in my buildings. Um, sometimes you can't see them, but, you know, they're there um, just to help them make it a little bit more realistic. And, uh, yeah, I, I really like the lights the way they've turned out so the other thing that I've been doing is building this laser cut my first laser cut building and spray painted it um, as you can see it's still uh, in the middle of being uh, uh, grassed and and um, scenery put in um, a little bit out of focus you can see in the top there the people um, so they're still being built and still a lot to do. You can also see here in the bits that I've removed that I didn't like, a um, bit more scenery. There's lots of things that were affected by adding the new layout and lots of bits I didn't like. So I've changed quite a bit of stuff and removed some stuff as well. Um, yeah, there's the house sitting with grass. And the brown building is a new building, but it's not in place yet and nothing more has been done. I'm just sitting it there to see whether it works. Want to thank everybody for joining me. Um, please subscribe. Please hit that bell. Remember, it's free. Thank you to all my subscribers and thank you very much to the new subscribers. Let's keep those trains on the rails. Until next time, bye for now.